No offense, but for a billionaire genius, you're lousy company. Every system has a flaw. I'm pretty good at finding them. You care about other people. That's your flaw. So if you try to call out to that police officer, I won't shoot you. I'll shoot someone else. Please don't make me do that. You should be trying to figure out what I want and where we're going. Where are we going? The future, Harold. I don't know who you think I am, but you've made a mistake. Don't. I've been waiting for you my whole life, and you and I share an understanding. Do we? You're a murderer and a thief. My mom told me to follow my talents, and I'm good at what I do. Except for this one time, when someone stopped me. How did you know, Harold? For months, that's what I couldn't figure out. I knew the government had spent years trying to build something to protect its panicked little flock. I also thought they'd never pull it off. Because I didn't know about you. And you pulled it off. The only question, Harold, is why it didn't protect you. You can't do that again. Your job is to protect everyone, not to protect me. If you hurt any of these people, I'll stop cooperating, and then you'll have to kill me. Relax, Harold. I just need a few things for our trip. And I'm not going to hurt any of them. Now, stay. What happened to you? I was being stupid. I'm so sorry. I, I slipped outside. Come on, we'll get you patched up. Come, have a seat. I know the truth. If you want to make something that understands human behavior, it has to be at least as smart as a human. You created an intelligence. And then you ripped out its voice, locked it in a cage, and handed it over to the most laughably corrupt people imaginable. No way of accessing it, you know? I made sure of that. Everything has a flaw. You know that, Harold. And like I told you, I'm awfully good at finding them. Why, what could you possibly want from it? The real reason you built the machine is because the world is boring. You're right, you and I are alike. In many ways, not that I'd care to admit it. I spent years wondering how people could be so cruel, petty, so selfish. And then I'd think about how you could change them, fix them. And that's why I've sealed up the machine. Not to protect it from the people I was giving it to. To protect it from me, from people like us, from the things we do with it. That's why I'll never help you get control of it. I know. You won't have to. Because you see, Harold, I don't want to control your machine. <laughs> 